Massively multiplayer online role-playing games have been around for years now, but it's taken this long for the genre's breakthrough hit to finally emerge. But World of Warcraft is indeed that game. This is uh, just an incredible accomplishment and an incredibly fun game above all else. It's filled with basically everything that's ever been great about the massively multiplayer online RPG genre and it delivers a lot of new stuff as well and, and just fills you with a sense of wonder as you explore the game's incredibly huge and beautiful world. It's, it's just a one-of-a-kind experience and it's something that's recommendable to pretty much everyone so regardless of what you may think of this style of gaming, this is the sort of game that you owe it to yourself to check out. It's, it's just really a mind-blowing and staggering and makes you glad that you are someone who plays games and feel sorry for people who don't. One of the most striking things about World of Warcraft is that the game takes place in this incredibly huge and seamless world. There aren't any real loading times here at all, and in fact, just getting from your desktop and into the game is a process that just takes seconds. Uh, basically, you can run around through the world and watch as the scenery changes, as the weather changes, uh, as the lighting changes. All this stuff just happens all around you, and, and the whole thing just feels so cohesive and is so rich with detail that you really do feel like you're in this other place. One of the great things about World of Warcraft is that it's highly approachable. It's just very easy to get into, and so easy, in fact, that it doesn't even have any kind of tutorial. You don't need one. You just kind of take a look at the uh, interface on the screen, and you sort of intuitively get what's going on. You figure out how to run around, use your abilities, and uh, suddenly you feel like you're an old pro at this stuff and don't feel like you have that much to learn, even though there's incredible depth and complexity waiting for you here. Another one of the surprises is that World of Warcraft is really just an action-packed game. It, it's not a kind of a weighted down with, with the slow pacing that you'd expect from an online RPG. It's not weighted down by a lot of the boring downtimes and, and just the sense of a grind that you're doing the same thing over and over and over uh, just for small gains. So instead, you have this fast-paced combat uh, which almost feels more like an action game. It's definitely much more reminiscent of something like Warcraft 3 or Diablo 2 than it is of other online RPGs. Uh, it's, it's, you know, very action-oriented, and yet it strikes a perfect balance in that it's not so hectic that it's unmanageable. Uh, another great thing is that regardless of which type of character you play, you can really hold your own against monsters, or of course you can greatly contribute uh, to player groups and choose to play with others or alone. So any way you choose to go, uh, whether you want to play this game for a half an hour at a time or for eight hours at a time, basically World of Warcraft is going to give you a good, exciting experience. The sheer variety of this game is another one of its really outstanding qualities. Depending on which type of character you play, you'll start out in totally, totally different environments. And of course, you'll also have totally different things to fight, totally different quests to undertake, and so forth. The game's eight different races are split up into two factions, the Horde and the Alliance. And basically, these two factions result in pretty much completely different gameplay experiences. So if you only play as one side or the other, you'll pretty much not get to see most of the other half of the game, or at least you won't be able to see it from a friendly standpoint. At any rate, uh, regardless of which race you pick, you'll be in for a very different feel and just to still be filled with the sense of majesty and, and awe that this world evokes. Beyond that, though, the game's got some clever and subtle innovations, and these are things that really distinguish it and put it in a totally different league than other online RPGs. Uh, one of the great things here is that uh, when you die and death is an inevitability in all these games, it's really not that big of a deal. All other online RPGs make death a really bad thing because dying should be bad, right? Well, in World of Warcraft, pretty much all that happens is you sit out for a bit. You respawn back at a graveyard and you run and get your corpse and you respawn. You don't lose experience points, you don't lose your items or any of that stuff. So you're encouraged to kind of go out there and take risks and so forth because the, the worst that should happen is that, you know, you'll be out for a couple of minutes. There's also the rest system, which is a great way for this game to basically appeal to people who can't commit to playing this game for many, many hours at a time. Uh, all it does is it gives you a little experience bonus if you don't play for a while. So if you make your character rest at an inn or something, uh, when you log off and you come back to it after a day, you'll get double the experience from killing monsters uh, for a little bit. So what this does is it puts a little wind at your back uh, as you go about leveling up and so forth, and it lets you
you catch up to some of your friends who maybe play more than you do, and it gives you a reason to keep coming back and also makes you not feel bad about taking a break from the game. It's really a subtle and brilliant system. Also, if all the questing in combat isn't necessarily your suit or if you want to take a break from it, there's the profession system. So you can uh, gather herbs and things or, or mine for ore and, and uh, kind of skin animals for leather and stuff like that and then produce these things into alchemical potions or uh, different armor and weapons and so forth. Uh, the great thing about this system is that, like the rest of the game, it's easy to get into and it's instantly gratifying. Uh, pretty much right off the bat, you're making stuff that's immediately useful either to you or your friends. And you could send stuff off to your friends via the game's cool uh, in-game postal service, which is uh, one of the great little touches. It's what helps give this game personality uh, because it's sort of this fantasy setting, kind of like Tolkien and, and all that, but at the same time it's got these modern touches like uh, subways and rifles and so forth. So uh, the world of the game really has its own personality that's always brought to life through the incredible art direction and, and the amazing audio that you'll hear as you explore around and, and just go about your business. World of Warcraft also has a player versus player combat system which on most of the game's realms or servers is purely consensual. So if you don't want to get jacked by other players, you could just avoid the PvP combat and things will be fine. However, you can opt to duel any player uh, basically down to the last hit point and uh, you can also engage in uh, horde versus alliance sort of uh, PvP gang warfare or all out battles. Uh, the game's PvP combat like the rest of the combat is actually a lot of fun since the different character classes have a considerable amount of depth and there's a lot of variety just in how you balance classes and uh, how you engage the foe and so forth so it's, it's really tactical and pretty fun. Uh, but there's a lot of potential here too. It's clear that World of Warcraft uh, was, uh, was designed primarily with the player versus environment experience in mind, but there are the building blocks here for a really exciting uh, player versus player game too. Uh, and it's something that's probably going to keep high level players coming back for much longer after they've you know, already maxed out their characters and all that stuff, which is going to take them hundreds of hours. All this game's uh, various accomplishments from, from a technical standpoint, from an artistic standpoint, from a design standpoint, they all collaborate to make this game just fun. That's the bottom line. It's not just this you know weirdly ambitious game that's trying to do all this crazy stuff. It's this game that's trying to entertain you, and it really does. I mean, it, it's a game that should appeal to pretty much any gamer on any level because it, it has a much of the essence of what makes games fun, the sense of competition, the sense of accomplishment and reward, uh, the sense of awe that you can get from uh, experiencing sort of a new environment for the first time or, or something like that. I mean, it's really just a dramatic and, and one-of-a-kind game, so even if you've already made up your mind about how you think of online RPGs, you really owe it to yourself to give this game a try. Uh, it's probably something that, if nothing else, you will absolutely appreciate having had the chance to play.